This is a tutorial for cylinder duration equations. Before we begin, we need to go over the tank duration factors. First, for the E cylinder, it is 0 0.28. For the H cylinder, it is 3.14, the same as pi. This is the equation. The duration that the tank will last in minutes equals the PSIG, which is the pounds per square inch gauge. This is the amount of pressure in the tank and can be found with the pressure gauge. Take that and multiply the tank duration factor we just discussed. Divide by the flow that the patient is receiving in liters per minute. Let's do an example. If we have an E-tank that has 2,000 PSIG and the patient is receiving a flow of 3 liters per minute, how long will this tank last all the way to empty? So, to put it in your equation, duration in minutes equals the PSIG, which is 2,000, times the tank duration factor for an E-cylinder, 0.28. Divide all of that by 3 liters per minute. You should then get 560 divided by 3, which equals 186.66666 minutes. Let's round that to the nearest tenth because the next number here is a 5 or above, we will round up to 186.7 minutes. But we're not done yet. If you told somebody in clinic that a tank will last 186.7 minutes, they might look at you a little funny. It'd be much better if you told them how many hours and minutes that was to be exact. So here's how you do that. You have to convert uh, the minutes into hours. I use the T method where I put what I have on top, 186.7 minutes, and then over here on the right you see that 60 minutes is on the bottom to one hour on the top. That way minutes cancels out and you take 186.7 divide by 60. When you do that, your answer is 3.1 hours. So your tank lasts 3 hours and then 0.1 hours you need to convert into minutes again. 0.1 hours, there's 60 minutes in an hour. So this time, hours cancels out to leave minutes and you will multiply. 0.1 times 60 to get 6 minutes. Therefore, your final answer is that this tank to go to empty will last 3 hours and 6 minutes. Let's do one more. Now we have an H tank that is full and the flow is set at 5 liters per minute. This time, it's asking you to find the duration of the tank until it needs to be changed. In clinic, we do not let tanks run past 500. Once it reaches 500, it goes into the red zone, and we end up calling that tank empty. And that's just to be safe, so we never have a tank run out on a patient while it's in use. So. In order to do this, first we have to know that a full tank, any tank that's full, has 2,200 PSI. Well then we want to run it until it needs to be changed this time, so we have to subtract 500 from that. Then you're going to multiply that PSI by your tank duration factor of the H tank, which is 
Divide all of that by the set flow, which is 5 liters a minute. You should here get 2200 minus 500 is 1700 PSI times the 3.14 is 5338. Divide that by your flow of 5, and you will get the answer of 1,067.6 minutes. Again, we need to convert that to hours and minutes. So we use our T method again, and we have 1,067.6 minutes on the top, 60 minutes on the bottom, so minutes cancels out. Left with hours at that point, so divide by 60 and you get 17.793333 hours. Again, let's round to the tenth here, and because this number is higher than, is five or higher, we will round that up to 17.8 hours. So this tank will run 17 hours, and then 0.8 hours needs to be converted back to minutes. 0.8 hours, put the one hour at the bottom, so hours cancels out times it by 60, and you end up getting 48 minutes. Your final answer is that this tank to run till it needs to be changed is 17 hours and 48 minutes.